Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, and today I'm going to show you guys how I get this full face of makeup using all affordable products. So if you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. So first to fill in my pores, I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Then I'm going to go into my LA Pro Conceal um, Concealer in the color orange, and I'm just going to put that all over my dark marks. I do this all the time because it just helps your uh, dark marks to be a little bit more concealed. I'm going to try something new. Uh, you guys know I never blend out my corrector, but I blended out my corrector today. <laughs> and it came out okay. It came out decent. So I'm just going to blend that out so that you kind of don't see it through my foundation. Today I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this foundation is medium coverage. Um, so if you don't have dark spots, this will be awesome for you. If you do, you would have to heavily color correct. But all I'm going to do is put this all over my face with my fingers warming up on the back of my hand per usual and blend it in with my real techniques I think this is like a foundation brush or something I'll have everything listed down below for you guys what I love about this foundation is it looks like skin the only con that I have to say about this foundation is that it does settle in the fine lines in your face so if you do have uh, wrinkles or something like that I would not suggest this foundation it does set to a Mm, semi matte finish so yeah uh, I do love it it's a really good drugstore foundation as you can see I'm taking my beauty blender to adding a little bit more product to blend in the foundation more now I'm gonna take my hard candy primer and I got this at Walmart I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelids and then I'm gonna take my translucent powder by LA girl and just set that now I'm gonna take my favorite like transition color right now is cocoa bear by makeup geek and I'm gonna take my morphe blending brush and I'm going to build up the color right below my eyebrow bone and above my crease so now I'm gonna take my wet and wild palette the all-natural palette and I'm gonna take this purplish burgundy color with the same blending brush and I'm going to focus that in the outer portion of my eye I'm using circular motions with that same large blending brush and just buffing out that color just make circular motions and it will do the work for you and then I'm just blending it upwards into the transition color so everything looks blended and kind of dragging it into the crease I'm being very messy to be honest you don't have to be perfect with this because the tape helps you I promise so now I'm going to take the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the color amber and I'm going to use my elf eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place that all over my lid area. These eyeshadows are very pigmented and very good eyeshadows from the drugstore. The only thing is next time I apply these colors most likely I'm going to use my finger because the color payoff will be so much better. So yeah, apply them with your finger. <laughs> next I'm going to use my Wet n Wild palette. Again, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow in that palette and I'm going to take a oval blending brush and just apply that to my crease as well. Blending everything out uh, using like circular motion sort of if you want to know exactly how like I blend out my eyeshadows I have a eyeshadow tutorial all about that and I'll put it in the description box so now I'm taking another clean oval blending brush and blending out the harsh lines now I'm gonna take that same brush and blend those two colors together that are on my lid area now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe and I'm going to apply that right underneath my eyes to highlight and conceal underneath my eyes at the same time. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend out that concealer. And my Beauty Blender is damp because it helps me blend out the concealer better and it's just so much easier and it looks better in the end. So now I'm going to use my banana powder and I'm going to take my beauty blender which is damp and apply my banana powder underneath my eyes. I tried this technique, do I like it that much? For me, no. Um, but for a lot of people it does work so try it out and see if you like it. It does settle kind of in the lines in your face so I don't think I'll be doing that again. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my Maybelline powder in the color coconut and just brush away some of that banana powder now I'm going in with my concealer again and I'm just going to put that on my nose keep his bow chin and blend it out with that same beauty blender and I'm just switching sides so that no powder gets on the wet concealer part 
Now I'm gonna take some of my Fit Me powder again and I'm just gonna set those areas that I just put concealer on. Now I'm going in with my favorite, the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my face with a large fluffy brush. This is the MAC 135 brush, I really like this brush. And I'm just gonna warm up the sides of my face and the hollows of my cheek and kind of blend it into my forehead and just blend it out. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance Contour Palette and this is the one, this is the deep one or the darkest one they have. And I'm just going to add that on top of my bronzer just to define it, define my contour slash bronzer a little bit more. And I'm just gonna pinch my brush and kind of get the sides of my nose a little bit with the excess product. Now I'm gonna take this Black Radiance highlighter and I'll put it in the description box of what color it is and everything and I'm just going to highlight my the top of my cheekbones like I always do and then I'm gonna take some on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk highlighter in Goddess. This is actually a bronzer but on darker skin it's a highlight. So I did try to line my waterline on camera. I used my Rimmel eye pencil to do that but I just could not do it. <laughs> I had to get closer to the mirror. So I did use my highlighter to go in the inner parts of my tear ducts with a pencil brush and my favorite lip gloss right now is the NYX Butter gloss and I use the color praline and then on top of that I use another NYX butter gloss that I can't remember the name of but I'll put in the description box. Now I'm going in with my NYX dewy finishing spray to finish off the look and get rid of the cakiness and that's really it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.